I'm keeping it real here, folks. This is the grossest part about owning horses. This is one of those videos where I'm gonna go ahead and put this little disclaimer out there. Um, parental discretion is advised with this video. Um, this video is something that I feel is very important for all horse owners, regardless of age, to watch, but everybody's a little bit different. So something that um, I'm comfortable with my kids watching might be something that someone else is not comfortable with their kids watching. So parents, please, um, please be advised and um, watch this video before allowing your kids to watch. In this video, I'm gonna show you all about sheath cleaning. And if you have a gelding, unfortunately it's something that has to be done. So this is Bear, Bear's gelding, and Bear needs his sheath cleaned every year. I'm gonna tell you a little story about my experience with geldings and why it's important to clean their sheaths. So, um, several years ago, I was actually pregnant at the time. I had a horse named Dakaho. Dakaho started limping, and we could not figure out why he was limping. And I actually had the vet out to do, we did a lameness exam, we did x-rays on um, everything that could potentially have been the issue. And at the end, Bear's getting a little, I, this is really good training right now because Bear wants to leave and I'm like, no, we're just gonna sit here. So he just finished eating his grain and he's being a little impatient. Oh, he's gonna eat my hat. While the vet was going over the x-rays, he was not finding anything that could potentially be causing this lameness. And I remembered a story that a friend told me years ago about how her horse was mysteriously lame, they couldn't figure it out, and um, they cleaned his sheath and found a very large bean. Well, so while the vet was here, uh, being that I was pregnant, cleaning the sheath was not something that I was willing to um, partake in, and so it hadn't been done, um, but we do, them, we do them once a year at least anyway, depending on the horse. The vet did a thorough examination of this horse's sheath and everything that goes along with that, and found a bean about the size of a quarter. Now, for those of you who know what a bean is and where it comes from, understand that the size of the hole of where it's at is not that big. So this bean was the size of a quarter and the vet had to break it up into four or five pieces to actually even get it out. And so, you know, magically the next day, suddenly the horse isn't limping anymore. So here I spent all this time and energy and money on getting this horse checked out and all it was was a bean causing this problem. So I learned my, <laughs> I learned my lesson and no to with geldings, if there's anything that seems you know, sore in that general area in the hind end of the horse, I immediately go for checking for a bean. So really important. And today we have Dr. Rebecca Valrath with us from the Copper Country Veterinary Clinic. And what about sheath cleaning? How often do you recommend that being done? So sheath cleanings are nice to do every year for them because they get awfully dirty and beans are very uncomfortable and can even cause colic if they're large enough and obstructing their ability to urinate. Um, and cleaning them out is often difficult without sedation, so it's often done at the same time as their flow. So for viewing purposes, can you show me exactly where to look for a bean? So the urethra is right here, and there's the urethral pro uh, fossa here, this whole part where I'm putting my fingers in, and they can store a bean anywhere in that whole area, so you have to kind of okay. dig around. And so there's some stuff I just saw come out of yeah, there. Yeah, some goo. Okay. They don't always appreciate it though, so be safe. <laughs> What are the beans like made of? Smegma. This kind of crusty stuff that I'm peeling out and all that, it concretes together and gets stuck in that fossa and makes a bean. Okay. And some, I mean, we've had some oh, where it's, I mean, it's like this big. Mm -hmm. And I have to break it into pieces in order to get it out. He's still really smelly. He's crusty for sure. Can you eat 
angry lesions or anything. Tuffy's sheath is super swollen from all the mud that we've had. Horses haven't been moving around very much, so he's just gonna get this checked out a little bit while it gets cleaned. But that should go away as soon as he starts moving around more. So tired. Hey, Tuffy. He has like no sheath compared to that big gelding. <laughs> oh, yeah. He was hanging down. It was so small. I won't include you sniffing it. <laughs> sniffing <laughs> Actually, is a that's very pretty funny. <laughs> diagnostic test. Yeah. <laughs> it just, it's got a little weird odor. Yeah, it's really smell, it's really, smells really strong. Yeah. Hey. Somebody's getting cleaned. Yep. These pink yeah. skinned horses, we worry about squaying a cell with them. Okay. I don't feel anything deep down in there or see anything on the outside here, but if he ever does drop nice for you, I'll try to get it down. You can kind of always try to keep an eye on it. If you notice any major crusts that oh, okay. won't come off, that's oh, okay. important. There's a bean that just came out of Diego. Yuck. It was a big one. Gross. Joys of having geldings. <laughs> as gross as it is, it is something that we must do as horse owners. I'm feeling pretty lucky that I only own two geldings. Um, a lot of people ask me, they're like, well, you know, do you prefer mares over geldings? No, I don't prefer either. I just happen to have a lot of mares. My herd, I have 14 horses and only two of them are geldings and they're both um, ponies. Bear is one of them. And then Lucky is the other gelding that I own. But um, still with that being said, I make sure to check them out real good. And a good time to do it is when the dentist comes, the um, vet comes to do dental work on the horses because they're sedated and it makes it so you can get in there and do what you need to do. Um, if you're not comfortable cleaning your horse's sheath, you can definitely ask your vet to take care of that for you. Well, that's a wrap. I hope you found this video um, helpful, maybe a little bit interesting, maybe a little bit disgusting, maybe you don't ever wanna own a gelding again. I don't know, but um, anyway, I, I hope that it did help you in some way. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and ding that little bell, then you'll receive all notifications when a new video is uploaded to the Versatile Horsemanship YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching.